The reason why knowing until is important. The reason why Jesus ain't coming back. The reason why the real... <laughs> you know, in the 88, they had 88 reasons why Jesus is coming in 88. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In 89, they had 89 reasons. He said, oops. <laughs> I blew it one year <laughs> of my book. I should have waited a year. I don't know if you said it, but that, it's good comment anyway. You know. And we've been ooping ever since then. We've had a lot of oops. We've had three or four in the last two years. And I just sit there and just crack up and say, man, that ain't, that's, not the, that's not the plan. Is there, is there not a word from the Lord? I say, yes, it is. God has people in the earth that are hearing from him. So number one, until the prophesied times of restoration or restitution comes, until what? The what? The prophesied times of restoration. Don't look at the number two. That ain't supposed to be right there. Restoration. Acts three. Go to Acts three. Let's go to Acts three. Acts three. Acts three. So that's the restitution of Paul. Yes. Yes. I don't care how tight they get out there. I don't care if North Korea decided to shoot twenty missiles. Come on, man. It ain't time. Come on, I don't care if Trump, if Trump stands up on national TV and say, I am the Antichrist. Come on. It doesn't matter. Right. I will not be soon shaken by spirit, word, or letter. Amen. This thing has been set way before those characters. <laughs> up to 19. 19, 19. I know I didn't put it in my notes. I didn't put it there for a reason. <laughs> Y'all too smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Repent ye therefore and be what? Converted. That your sins may be what? Blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The times of who? Refreshing shall come from where? The presence of the Lord. The times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. But you can't have the times of refreshing without being repentant. You know the word here. What is it? Come on, Meta. Come on, y'all know I'm preach that thing. You should, it should just be instant. Sometimes I say, "What's the word?" It should bust up. <laughs> Metanoia. That's the word. It means to change your thinking, change your mind. The word Meta is the two words. It means Meta means what? Change. 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 Mm -hmm. That's what metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. Change form, right? Change is Metanoia. Is what? Y'all, who thinking? Meta, who? Noah. It means change your thinking. We won't forget it no more, right? Nope. Change your thinking, because you need to change your thinking while you won't write it down. <laughs> but you got to change your thinking or draw your thinking from another source or exercise your mind differently. And we thought it was crying and all that. No, no. We want to change our thinking. We want to repent because when we repent, the times of refreshing comes. Why am I stagnant? Because you haven't changed your mind or taken your information from another source, which I'm going to talk about because i got to teach it not this Sunday, but next Sunday. We'll talk about the times of refreshing. We're going to dissect this, so I ain't going to want to spend a whole bunch of time on this. That your sins may be blotted out. It's not a sin problem. It's a mind problem. Yeah. It's an understanding problem. Yeah. So most of us are trying to blot out our sins so we can get the presence. No, no, no. You change your mind. Mm -hmm. And sin is not an issue. Because yeah. <laughs> all sin is what? Two words. Mistaken identity. identity. That's what sin is. Verse 20. And he should send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. Next. Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution. I like that word. The times of restitution means the recovery of breath. How many of them we were in the recovery of breath? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The church is having her breath restored. She's being resuscitated. Amen. Amen. He's breathing into her nostrils again. A newness of life. Amen. 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 So the time of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. So since the world began, God has had on his mind a level of restitution coming in the earth. And the first century church was the earnest, the down payment. It wasn't the total glory. How many know that? Yeah. The first century church is the model. Yeah. It's the earnest of what God wants to do. 
So he wants to do much more. Am I right? Amen. Didn't he say it in Haggai? Talking about the glory of the former house? What did he say about the, the contrast of the two glories? The glory of the who? Latter house is what? Than the former house. Who was the former house? Thank you. The first century church is the former house. Who's the latter house? We are. That's why Reformation is so important. Take out the defects so we can be able to grow up into him in all things. Because the heavens hold him or is shut up until the times of restitution. Right? And the times of refreshing to come. But we have to be renewed. We don't need an altar call. We need to take the word for what it's worth. And then once we align our thinking with his thinking, then the heavens can release them. Yes. But see, we have a problem because religion has taken away the key of knowledge. Right. And it said it shut the heavens up. Mm -hmm. So it won't allow his appearing. Mm -hmm. He's not coming for. Come on, y'all, y'all. He's coming who? Through. Through us. But before he comes for us, he's going to come through, through us. It's his appearing. Mm -hmm. It's not our disappearing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. It's not our leaving. It's his coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. <laughs> so, the reason why we can't experience the restitution that the Lord has promised to the body of Christ, the times of restitution and the times of refreshing, the recovery of breath, a second level of insight. That's what it means. Breath it just means nua. I mean, you know that, right? Yes. That's what it means. When he breathed to him, it became a living soul. Mm -hmm. in, the book, in the book of Genesis, the book of beginnings. He, and then that's what happened when he was in that other room, am I right? Mm -hmm. He breathed on them. Said, receive yeah. ye Holy Ghost. Yeah. Right? So they were resuscitated. They had a time of refreshing. Yeah. A time of restitution. Yeah. So that old system was still in operation, but God was doing something yeah. totally different. So we got to understand it as, as believers all across this globe, those that are watching. God ain't finished with us yet. Amen. 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 When he bought the, when, when he gave us the parable and said he bought the whole field, he bought the whole field for that mm -hmm. pearl. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. well, who was that pearl? We were. <laughs> Thank you. Church. Yes. Said, I got something in the world that I want to do. But he bought the whole field. He bought the world. Mm -hmm. But then he, 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 he it, oh, I ain't got time. I'm going to leave that alone right there. Because <laughs> I miss y'all up and y'all be saying, I'm going to some heresy. So the reason why we, <laughs> so until the, the prophesied times are rested. Rest, uh, restoration of times of restitution, the times of refreshing, the things that's needed for the church to begin to uh, its journey on a, a on a journey to be able to uh, understand God's eternal purposes. It's imperative that we know that He can't do anything without us. He chose not to do anything without us. That we have an oracle in our heart. We have a pro prophetic declaration on the inside of us. Yeah. It's time to find out what he wants and to, for us to verbalize it. We are in the earth because we are a down payment of what God is going to do with the whole. He says, what? We are who? A down payment of what he wants to do with what? The whole. But the heavens must receive him. In other words, he's not visible on the magnitude and on the scope that God really intends. So now in sporadic moments, we get to experience his parousia in the church when we see the demonstration of the gifts of the spirit, the laying on the hands, the casting out of devils, the very ministry he told us we could have, which is in one location mostly, mm -hmm. not necessarily one specific location, but one entity, which is a building. Mm -hmm. What I'm here to tell you, he has a goal in mind, and that's the earth to be filled Come with on. his glory. Yes. Yes. Well, it won't happen until we get done and with all these doctrines and 
persuasions that are antithetical to God. So I'm, I'm going to talk about the heavens, but I, I, I'll be nice tonight. Next, number two. Number two. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm going to spend more time on next Sunday about it, talking about it, because I, I, I believe that, that the presence of the Lord needs to happen on a continual basis. Well, I didn't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, you can have it without being in the church building. Mm -hmm. yes. Number two, until Christ is fully formed in the people. So he can't come until it, Christ is what? Fully formed in the people. We have this treasure mm -hmm. and earth and vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. If us is in the way, then there's no manifestation. There's no way that we can be formed into his image. Christ must be what? Fully formed in the people. That's why Paul said, I travail again that Christ may be formed in you. In other words, y'all blew it the first time. I'm going to do it again. I love y'all so much. I'm going to give you the second chance. That's what he was saying. That's my prayer for you. That's what he was saying. He said, y'all couldn't get on board. But I'm going to let you know that I'm going to keep praying for you until you get it right. So the goal of your salvation wasn't, as a matter of fact, your, your, your being saved was not necessarily your salvation. It was about the kingdom coming into the earth realm. Yes. And the representation of the kingdom is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yes. Who? Christ, Christ in us, the hope, the hope of glory. So the next thing we got to figure out is that he wants to be formed in the people. Mm -hmm. He wants to be able to manifest himself in certain places. Yes. See, that's how you want to fill the earth. Mm -hmm. How y'all thought he was going to do it? He's going to all of a sudden come out of the heavens and make everybody serve him. That's how the earth is going to be filled. In a utopia, right? It's going to be filled. The earth is going to be filled as we are transforming change. And as we allow his water, his glory to come out of our words. Yes. 